The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. This morning, it's picture of the daytime and a unique shot here peering through some of the blossoms in Roanoke up at uh, the landmark there, the star over the star city. Thanks to Karen W for our picture of the day sent to us through pin it on our weather app. It is a cold one out there this morning right now with Phil and Hillsville at 22 Lexington, 29 Danville, Martinsville, Smith Mountain Lake, 31 degrees. At least some improvement though, heading into the afternoon temperature wise, the NRV 45 to 50. The Highlands just slightly warmer than that. Roanoke, Lynchburg, Southside, you make your way into the low to mid 50s, though still breezy from time to time. You feel that as you step outside this morning, adding some extra chill to the air. So bundle up heading into the afternoon. However, the wind will gradually back off a little bit, not entirely. Wind gusts about 20 to 30 miles per hour. It's really not until overnight tonight into tomorrow morning that the wind does back off. But here's the thing that allows temperatures to drop heading into tomorrow morning. So from the NRV to south side in Roanoke, temperatures about 24 to 28 degrees first thing tomorrow. But as we get ready to head from winter to spring, storm systems develop. They produce severe weather, especially in the southern plains. That's going to be the case tomorrow. That same storm system moving west to east. So here we go through tomorrow night. Notice any kind of showers and storms staying to our west. May see a few stray showers early in the day on St. Patty's Day as that line of storms weakens, but it kind of regenerates heading into Friday afternoon and evening. That's when I expect most of the rain, probably after 3 or 4 p.m. and then moving east of the area heading into the weekend. So as you plan for St. Patrick's Day and the rest of the weekend, make sure you keep us in mind. Stay connected with our free 10 news and weather apps. For the New River Valley, 50 today with sunshine, 20s first thing tomorrow morning. But look at how quickly we bounce back. Upper 50s and lower 60s tomorrow afternoon. Highs 55 to 60 St. Patty's Day with the likelihood of showers developing later in the day. But then you look ahead to the weekend and it's back to the cold. Highs in the 40s, lows in the 20s heading into Sunday and Monday mornings. We'll still be chilly starting out next week with the chance for showers redeveloping heading into next Tuesday. Roanoke 54 today. How about that? We go from 28 tomorrow to 65 by the afternoon. 60s likely St. Patty's Day prior to some showers. And just like the NRV, we cool off heading into the week. Weekend Saturday's breezy, Sunday's calm with highs in the 40s. Spring officially kicks off next Monday with a high of 52 after starting in the 20s. And just like the NRV standing the chance for some showers uh, heading into Tuesday of next week.